In this week's episode of Akame Got Kill, Night Raid's base is attacked by the creepy Dr. Stylish. Oh, Akame Got Kill, you just decided to open up a case of whoop-ass this week. I think it goes without saying, I loved this episode. It was a lot of fun. Now, Akame Got Kill might not be the most revolutionary anime series of all time, but this week's episode played to its strengths, which are its creative action sequences. And this episode delivered. Not only did you get to see Night Raid actually fighting all together and working as a team, but Dr. Stylish is a great villain. He's very creepy and effeminate, and even has his own S&M army. Which is kind of strange, but still it leads to a lot of incredible action sequences and battles. Such as Akame and Lubbock fighting against this one guy who has blades all over his body. On his arms, on his legs, under his feet, which he actually uses as skates. And he's literally able to go around the room like he's skating on ice. And this leads to a lot of cool scenes when he's fighting against Akame. Because he can literally skid across her sword and block almost all of her techniques. But Lubbock is there too, so he's able to help out and he actually sends this massive spear made out of string flying right through his chest and then Akame just finishes him off by cutting his head off. It's a really brutal scene and it lets you know that if you're going to fight against Night Raid, they're not just going to kill you, they're going to murder you, burn you, and piss on the ashes. Seeing Tatsumi in the Incursio armor is awesome to say the least. I, I, I know that the suit don't make the man, but you gotta admit, that armor has definitely made him a little more badass, especially when he just runs in and he starts just decking people in the face. But eventually he is put to the ground by this one big guy who's actually using Shiele's old weapon, the Scissors Blade. But when Mine sees this, she goes crazy and takes him out with one blast from her gun. Really awesome, insanely badass. But then there's this one guy who actually looks like he almost kills Leone at the very beginning of the episode, but... Come on, a character like Leone is not going to go out like that. And she just appears out of nowhere at the last second to kill this guy. And she just decimates him, and it really shows how creepy she is. And I love the scene where he tries to attack her again by uh, having the blade in his shoe come out. And he tries to kick her right in the face, but then she just bites down on the blade and ends up finishing him off in one punch. So, this all eventually leads to the scene where Dr. Stylish realizes that he's going to have to make a quick escape when suddenly the boss of Night Raid appears, flying on a massive manta ray. Anime logic. Nagenda has actually brought along two brand new members who look like they might be the new members of Night Raid, and there's this one guy by the name of Susano who is just... badass. I know I say that all the freaking time, but it's the only way to describe this guy. He's got horns on his head, and he has this one massive weapon, which reminds me of the javelins from American Gladiators that has these blades on them, which can spin around. And he pretty much just takes out the entire army by himself. No biggie. Dr. Stylish no longer has any choice, and he goes through this really crazy transformation sequence because, of course, he's a mad scientist, where he injects this weird thing into his arm and suddenly starts to turn into this massive kaiju beast Frankenstein monster, and he literally is grabbing all of his goons and trying to eat them by shoving them into the mouth into his chest. Again... Anime logic. But this is where all the members of Night Raid get to team up and fight against him at once. And there's a scene where both Tatsumi and Akame work together, where she's riding on his back, and they're able to run up his arm and finish him off with one massive slice. And it's a shame, too, because the dude was just this short of going Super Saiyan 3. His hair was reaching it, man. You were almost there, Doctor. But still, I'm a little shocked. I honestly didn't see this character getting taken out this early. I will say, though, the fact that he used such crazy abilities in this episode really sets the bar high for the rest of the members of the Jaegers. I mean, we've already seen what Seriu is capable of, and they did hint to some of her new abilities in the last episode, but still, this one right here was just a lot of fun. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Akame Ga Kill? Just really entertaining. This, this is like the reason why I watch anime is this episode right here. I just had a lot of fun watching it. There was a lot of creativity with the characters and their weapons and their powers, and this show, even though it does have a lot of censorship, uh, lets you see, like, everything that's happening. When Akame and Lubbock took up that one guy, it was really violent and messed up. And it makes me think of some of the other shows which have been airing recently, like Tokyo Ghoul, which censors way too much. And this show has no problem with that. It goes into some really dark territory, especially the scene where you realize that Dr. Stylish created that one guy as a human bomb trying to take out Susano, that one brand new character. Speaking of new characters, there's also this one new female who's introduced at the very end who's also riding on top of the massive manta ray 
which is apparently another one of those danger beasts. That's what they call them. They keep bringing them up, which are essentially like the big Toriko monsters of this series. The animation and the artwork this week was definitely one of the highlights. Whenever there was an action scene and there was a lot of big attacks happening and there was like a big punch or a big impact, you felt it. And that's what really made the scenes all the more effective, especially at the very end with Dr. Stylish going through his very crazy transformation, which looked awesome. I really love that stuff. So this was just a really visually appealing and very fun action-packed episode that you should definitely check out if you've been following the series. I'm kind of surprised how almost every single episode just continuously gets better. I, I really thought that Akame Got Kill was going to be the most generic anime of the season, and in some senses it still kind of is. But damned if it is just not fun to watch and really entertaining. So if you're into action anime at all, definitely check out this episode. It was a lot of fun. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5. Thank you guys for watching my review today. Before you leave, how about hitting that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. And please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Akame Ga Kill. Did you have a favorite action scene? Are you disappointed that Dr. Stylish was taken out so early? Also, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button right up here, and you can check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll put links for all that in the description box below. P.S. Akame looks cute in pajamas.